Uh, keeping us posted how, how it feels out there, but Eric, uh, you have to answer this question for me. How many layers are you wearing today? <laughs> Good morning, Megan. I've got a total of four on myself right now, and I'm live here at one of the busiest CTA terminals in the entire city, the Jefferson Park Transit Center. And there are a lot of people out here in a lot of layers this morning, and there's a pretty good reason for that. We all remember what the polar vortex felt like, although I'm certain many of us would love to forget. Well, now people are calling what this unseasonable cold weather in Chicago feels like right now, Novemberary. I'm not making that up myself. Go check it out. It is online. And if you don't believe me, we talked to two tourists from Switzerland overnight and asked them how they feel about this weather. What do you think of our cold? Very cold. Very cold. <laughs> <laughs> and it wasn't just tourists, not by a long shot. Our nonstop news crew was out overnight as commuters were trying to catch buses and trains across the city, all bundled up as they waited in this freezing cold. With many roads now icy and the sidewalks slippery too, a lot of wait times and walk times are longer than usual. And this is what the temperature read downtown overnight a whopping 11 degrees. And that's not even with the wind chill. So what it really feels like out here is well below zero right now. We asked one commuter to describe this unseasonably cold autumn. Well, I didn't expect it this early. <laughs> um, it came on us like a ton of bricks. And uh, I have to get some warmer clothes. So what does all this unseasonable cold weather add up to? Essentially leaving your house early to make sure you give yourself plenty of time to get from point A to point B this morning. So whether it's by bus, train, or car, you want to give yourself those extra minutes to make sure you make it on time. I'm live in Jefferson Park this morning, Eric Cox, CBS 2 News.